A brain wallet sounds impossible. How can you possibly store crypto in your brain and how are you supposed to buy Lambos with it if it's stored in there? In this video, we're going to look at what a brain wallet is, how it works and how to set one up. Please do subscribe if you haven't already, it really helps this small channel grow. A brain wallet is a concept in the field of cryptocurrency that refers to a method of storing cryptocurrency private keys in the memory of the user's brain rather than on a physical or digital device. A private key is a unique and secret code that allows the owner to access and transfer their digital funds. The important thing to understand with any type of crypto wallet is that they store the private key to access the crypto that is stored on the blockchain. Crypto can never leave the blockchain. The private keys to access the crypto are what's being stored in your brain, not the crypto itself. A private key is a long string of random numbers and letters. So how is anyone supposed to memorize this? With a brain wallet, the private key is generated from a passphrase or series of words that the user can easily remember. This passphrase is transformed into a cryptographic key using a specific algorithm. By remembering the passphrase, the user can recreate the private key whenever they need. If we go to Brain Wallet IO, we'll set up a Brain Wallet. We can generate a random passphrase to be used, or we can enter one ourselves. When we click Generate, the site then converts our passphrase into a private key using the SHA-256 algorithm. We'll go into this algorithm and how it works in a future video, but for now, we can see we have a Brain Wallet created. We have our public key that you'd give out to anyone so they can send you crypto, and your private key that you never share and that you need to make transactions yourself. All we need to do is remember this passphrase and we can simply convert it again to be given our private key to make a transaction. We don't need to remember the long string of numbers and letters, just the passphrase we chose ourselves. I'd just like to point out that no crypto is stored using these keys. I'm simply showing this as an example. Brain wallets offer the advantage of not relying on physical or digital storage devices that could be lost, stolen or compromised. However, they also carry certain risks. If the passphrase is too simple or predictable, it can be vulnerable to brute force attacks or dictionary based attacks. Essentially, if someone can guess your passphrase themselves or by using software, they can use the same algorithm we used earlier to get your private key and therefore send your crypto to themselves. Additionally, if the user forgets or misplaces the passphrase, they may permanently lose access to their funds. There is no option to call customer support or anything of that sort. Your crypto is inaccessible forever if you forget the passphrase. It's important to note that the use of brain wallets require careful consideration of security practices, including choosing a strong passphrase and taking precautions to protect against unauthorized access or theft. Would you ever use a brain wallet or do you think the risk is too high? Please do subscribe if you've enjoyed this video and thanks for watching.